can tell guys are still a little weary uh, from the West Coast. Um, didn't have our legs early. I saw it early. I saw guys, um, you know, really uh, gasping for air <laughs> the first four minutes of the game. Um, as I told them going into this game, this was going to be a game that had to be fought from beginning to end. I think this Orlando team is a team that really plays hard. Uh, they have no quit in them. I've watched uh, three of their games, and uh, I've been very impressed with how hard they play. Even when they're down, they just keep coming. They just keep coming, uh, which I you know, had warned our guys about uh, about this team. But I'm very happy with uh, the fact that we did, uh, you know, we gutted it out uh, after I thought a thought okay first half. We came out in the third quarter, um, got some stops, created some separation. Um, and, you know, again, it's just it was just one of those games. And, and I've seen this uh, enough times being in this league as long as I've been in, coming back off of the West Coast. Uh, that first game back is always a tough one. You know, it's like you're running a quick set. I saw it, you know, with our guys. Uh, but again, I'm very proud that they uh, that they did uh, uh, grind it out. Guys came in, particularly our guys off the bench came in and gave us a big lift. I thought Lou came in and gave us some great minutes. Um, I thought Ivan did a good job. Zaza did a good job. Uh, Anthony Morrow came in and did a, did a good job. Devin got us off to a good start early making shots. Uh, I thought Jeff had, had a little bit of energy as well. He was really pushing the ball, getting into the paint. But uh, uh, really a uh, gutsy win for us. Well, we got Yeah, we, um, you know, we tried to make it a priority uh, to, to, to really defend the three, particularly with the uh, you know, he's one of the top three-point shooters in our league. Uh, and, you know, uh, I'll tell you, Rashad, he, he, he takes it like he's going in. You know, but I, I, made it a, I made it a point uh, as far as our game plan, our game strategy, to try to make sure that we, you know, contested all shots at the three-point line. We didn't want to give them any good looks. Uh, we just wanted to make their, their catches tough, and we wanted to make sure that we did, uh, you know, we did challenge at the three-point line. What were you able to do differently defensively, particularly in the fourth quarter? You got to tell those guys 11 points for a very long time. Well, I just I just thought we did a good job uh, executing a game plan. Um, you know, we were we were there uh, fighting screens. We did a good job with our pick and roll coverages. I thought we did a phenomenal job getting back defense, particularly in that third quarter. Uh, we challenged a lot of shots. We converged on, on dribble penetration. Um, did a lot of well things. Did a lot of things very well. Um, you know, when you play against a team like this, and one of the things that I told our guys here, it was important that. We had to defend in stance uh, the entire possession, you know. So we had to, you know, we had to make our mind up as far as defending this club because they do such a good job with their slices and their cuts and their back screens and their dribble handoffs. We had to be prepared to defend uh, the duration of each possession, um, and that was that was just the mindset going into it. Do you think you guys had more zip after halftime? I thought they did. I thought yeah. they did. I thought uh, after halftime, uh, you know, after we, you know, talked a little bit about it, uh, uh, they came out in that third quarter. Really got it going. Uh, both uh, I thought both Jeff and Devin did a really good job in, in picking up the uh, picking up the tempo. Uh, as I told uh, told both of them at the start of the third quarter, you know you guys got to set the tempo for the rest of this game, and it's going to be important that you get the ball out and that you run, make these other guys run with you. And I thought both guys did a good job with that. Coach, when the shots aren't falling, is it just one of those things where you just have to be just that much more determined? Yeah, when they're not falling, um, you know the one thing that you can't do is you can't. Um, you know, you can't try to be the one to, 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 to do it yourself. Um, when you get in that situation, you still have to execute as a team. And that's one of the things I've been preaching with this team. We, we have to be able to execute, particularly out of timeouts. And, and when we run our sets, we have to run it with pace. And we have to run, uh, force that ball to be a, go from one side of the floor to the other, force the defense to shift and we attack. Um, we did some really good things offensively. I thought we, we, we did some really good things, particularly out of our timeouts. Uh, hopefully, we 